Welcome back to Dragon's Dogma 2. For this video, we're going to be going over a few important things that has been in the talks lately, coming from the developers themselves and some review articles that you guys should probably know because it's going to affect a lot of you guys on consoles and some of us on PC. So there's going to be a few things to go over. Let's go ahead and jump in. The first thing I want to talk about is the reviews recently about the game have been actually incredible. We've been getting some pretty high scores up there in the 90s and even 10 out of 10s and 5 out of 5s from all the review pages. Um, despite the troubles of the consoles only being locked at 30 FPS, getting that high ratings with a major problem like that is incredible. I haven't seen these scores in a very, very long time in games. The last time I actually seen that, that game that I was interested in was Elden Ring. So that's actually pretty interesting to see um, exactly how the reviews are going. Now there's an article here coming in from IGN themselves saying Capcom is aware of the Dragon Dogma 2 frame rate issues on PC and they are looking into fixes. So part of the article says responding to a query about frame rate problems from IGN, Capcom said in a statement that performance issues on PC may be linked to a heavy amount of CPU demanded from NPCs in the game. Uh, which is actually quite funny because a lot of people took to the game and went ahead and killed as many NPCs in the game as possible to increase their frame rate by like 15 FPS, which is absolutely ridiculous. Don't do that. Um, just uh, wait for the fix when the game does actually drop. Uh, killing NPCs is, um, is fun and all, but hey, uh, you got to do what you got to do for those extra few FPSs, I guess. So with this, go ahead and say in Dragon Dogma 2, a large amount of CPU usage is allocated to each character and dynamically calculated the impact of their physical presence in various environments. So yeah, a lot of CPU is going to be going ahead and be put into that NPC uh, characters. Now, NPCs, there's a lot of them in this game, so we'll see exactly how they go ahead and change that for the future. So it'd actually be really, really good to see exactly how they go ahead and... Uh, update us with what they're going to be doing for the future because FPS issues is a big big concern and a big problem when it does come out for uh, games of this magnitude. I mean uh, a, a, a good example of a great release was Elden Ring. That game was flawless so if companies can go ahead and do some changes in a way where they can fully release a game up to standards that will be great. Now another article here comes from another source saying I assume I'd have no issues given that I was reviewing Dragon Dogma 2 on a high-end setup RX, uh, RTX 4090 Intel i9 3900K 32 gigs of RAM. And for much of the game the frame rate is completely acceptable with ray tracing on I've been getting around 80 to 100 FPS which is absolutely great, sometimes higher. When adventuring in the wilderness but anytime I hang out in Venmoth it tanks and I rarely get higher than 60 FPS and it often drops to 40 FPS or lower. Which is actually quite understandable for a lot of games that are huge, especially when it does come to towns, which I'm guessing Fernworth is one of those bigger towns. Your FPS will drop. Now, I have seen this problem with so many, so many games that have a bunch of um, NPCs, for example, with Cyberpunk. Your FPS will drop. I mean, I was getting like 120 FPS when I'm kind of out of sight of towns in Cyberpunk, but when I go into the towns, it does drop a lot, sometimes even lower than 60 FPS. So that is a problem, and I would like to see exactly how they change that. But getting 80 to 100 FPS while just playing the game with ray tracing is pretty impressive. Next up, let's talk about exactly how long is the game. There's a few articles here that we're going to be going over. First off, coming in from Simon Cardley, a senior editorial producer. He said it took him just under 24 hours to reach the final credits of Dragon, uh, Dragon Dogma 2 story. Um, so that is pretty damn long. Now, obviously, for a lot of people, it's going to be shorter or even longer. Coming here from Jarrett Green, IGN's Dragon Dogma 2 reviewer, says it took him about 33 hours to finish. And uh, that is, again, pretty good. But he does say that was nowhere near an attempt at completion. So he definitely didn't complete the game fully. Now, coming in here from Mitchell uh, Saltzman, the senior producer guides, um, he said, I was fairly ex um, exhaustive in trying to find every side quest, hidden treasure chest and NPCs in the First Kingdom of Vermont. 
in Dragon, Do uh, Dragon Dogma 2. And as a result, I am level 42 and about halfway through the main quest. And he was playing for about 55 hours. So that is a very, very long time now. If we're going to take into consideration in, uh, with all the side quests that you could possibly do, all the chests there was to find, uh, just exploring overall, some people will have different outcomes. You can probably have about 100 plus hours and you haven't even scratched the surface of all the side quests and all the missions and all collectible, but someone could be about 50 hours, 60 hours in and they have completed everything. So it depends on the type of player that you are. For me, I love to explore and I love to take my time with games, especially when there's a game like this that I'm really, really interested in. I do tend to take my time. In a lot of games, I still haven't completed them, but I have well over 100 hours in them. So it really depends on the player. But from so far, you're going to be spending another couple of days before you finish the game, depending if you're fast or slow. Now, for you PS5 players, this is very important. Dragon Dogma 2 black screen error on PS5, possible fixes, reasons, and more. Now, apparently there is a black screen problem that reviewers have come across when they're playing the game. So the article does say it's likely cause of Dragon Dogma 2 error is the VRR, the variable refresh rate setting on your PS5. The PlayStation 5's VRR works on the software level, so it's not always reliable. So there's actually a fix for this, which is pretty easy, and I'll put it up on the screen right now. So all you have to do is press the home button on your controller to get out of the black screen and return to the main menu. Enter your PlayStation 5 settings menu, select screen and video, select video output, scroll down to VRR, and make sure it's set to off instead of automatic, and return to the game. That should probably fix your issue. And that is about it for this video. So a lot of things are happening and uh, it's great to hear from Capcom, especially when the game hasn't even dropped yet. And we'll see exactly what changes in the near future. We should be getting some updates and uh, fixes for the game in the next couple of weeks. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it brought some insight to what's going on in the background and I'll see you all very soon.